Hey assholes, it's me again, Larry Andrews. And seeing as we're still under stay-at-home orders and still under social distancing orders, I cannot just grab some of you people off the street and sit you down and talk to you straight. So I have to talk to the general asshole here. And you know what? You're a bunch of assholes. Here's a study. Here's a thing. It's a thing that a third, a third, Nearly a third of Americans believe a conspiracy theory about the origins of the coronavirus. So what this, what this thing is really saying, and I'll get to it in a second, but what this thing is really saying is that one out of every three of you fucking morons are morons. You refuse to believe the science. Why? Because you refuse to believe the media. Why? Because your God and Savior, Donald Trump, calls everything fake news. Unless it comes from Fox or OAN. And lately, now, even he's even ragging on Fox as if Fox is, which we know Fox is fake news. But even he is calling Fox fake news and referring to OAN as news. Come on, people. Really? Really? I mean, it's, it's, already been, it's already been shown the thing came from animals. The thing came from, most likely came from bats through an unknown intermediate animal. Now, who's the unknown intermediate animal? I don't know. There's wet markets over there. They eat all kinds of crazy shit. Maybe somebody got a bad bat. Maybe somebody got a bad cat. Maybe somebody got a bad rat. I don't know. Maybe it's green eggs and ham. Sam, I am. I don't know. What I do know is it's not man-made, and it wasn't brought here on purpose. Okay? It's a virus, like the flu. But not like the flu, because we know about the flu. You know when we didn't know about the flu? 1918, 1917, 1918. That's when we didn't know about the flu so much. That's when the flu wreaked complete havoc throughout the world. So, that happened. But now, this is happening. And why is it like the flu? It's a virus. Why is it like the flu? Because like back then, we don't have a vaccine for it. We have no protection for it. We've never seen this before. So, A, it's not man-made. B, it wasn't accidentally released. Uh, C, it's not a leftist hoax d it wasn't it's not oh yeah oh oh this is the best one the best one okay it's not because guys are going down on women it's not it's 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 not female chemicals spreading the coronavirus you fucking maniac religious whack jobs what is wrong with you people you you christians out there on your tv shows well, man was not meant to go there on a woman and release her chemicals out into the world. This is the absolute punishment of doing things God did not intend. It's not that either. It's a virus. It's out there. It's being spread everywhere. Stop the bullshit. Stop worrying about staying inside because the stupid government says I gotta stay inside. Where's my freedom? Okay, true. I'll, I'll give you that. But here's the thing. Along with freedom means you have the freedom to go fucking die. So, if you think it's such a big old hoax, go outside. Go hang out. At a testing center, go hang out in an ER, go hang out at a hospital, go hang out with people that might also be sick. You know what? Go visit grandma in that nursing home where everybody's dying. Go there, hang out, breathe, kiss, hug, do it, infect yourself. Then go to all those other people screaming about freedom and have a freedom rally. Jump around going, my freedom! I'm not going to stay inside. Government cannot keep me down. Do that. Sneeze on them. Kiss them. 
hug them, sweat on them, share beers with them, share smoke with them. Do it. Spread it as much as you can around all your freedom-loving fucking assholes and kill them all along with yourself. Do it because you're an asshole.